Well, well, hello. It's Wednesday. And it's not raining. You know, I was going to leave it till weekend, but uh, we should never put off jobs. That can be done today, should we? <laughs> Am I speaking okay? <laughs> well, that's because I went to the dentist yesterday. Yes, yesterday. <laughs> Uh, fully expecting to have the scheduled root canal work. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, swelling gone down nicely. You finished antibiotics? I said, yes, yes. Oh, I'll just test the nerve. And he got some spray out, like WD-40. I don't think it was WD-40. It was just very cold. This is minus 50 degrees. Aha! Oh, that's a good sign. The nerve is still alive. I said, what? He said, I thought the nerve would be dead if I root canal were it not necessary. I said, well, aren't you just going to get another infection if is your tooth loose? I think it's receding gums and germs getting in. Do you use mouthwash? I said, yeah, I've uh, recently switched to Colgate, antibacterial, because of all the past two infections since November. Oh good, keep using that three times a day and see how it goes. I will not charge you for this appointment. I said, well, are you sure nothing needs doing? I'm, I'm going to get another... Well, if you get another infection, come back. I said, yeah, and I think I'll have it out. Because he said that root canal work doesn't guarantee it's not going to get another infection and it's receding gums due to my age. And also, they put it down to poor brushing technique, don't they? Well, I've got electric toothbrush now. Instead of doing that, scrubbing away, electric ones just sort of rotate. <laughs> so, I booked two days off, haven't I? Yesterday, what did I do? Oh, I'm here, cut after. Waiting bloody 40 minutes for two lads to have theirs done. One had a beard, a white lad. And stunk a bloody cannabis with a stinking shop out and then his phone went, Oh yeah mate, I'm having my hair cut, yeah. Come down in 20 minutes. And it was a scruffy lad with long hair with a girl with a shopping bag. And the boy, but it's a lady. Who's that outside? Oh, it's someone I know after selling me a PlayStation. I thought, bloody hell. Have you ever had time off work and there's just scrots? in the streets, isn't there, with no obvious means of income or rather alternative means of income yeah. so I just came back home and then it started raining and it's rained slightly today but I've just had a massive a massive dinner, I got some burgers with onion later yesterday and six eggs and a loaf, so I've had a balanced diet four eggs, four burgers, four slices of bread so I'm just hoping my stomach won't get in the way. Enough of this waffle. Right, what I have to do is take the belly pan off first. And get a 17 mil bolt full of sump. It's not the one with the nut. I've just checked. I must have put one of these on last year. Air filter can wait until. Well, I might order it uh, this afternoon. So it'll either arrive Saturday or next week as I'm on afternoons. I made this a few years ago. I was struggling to get it off and I thought I need a long lever. Hello, Blackie. Have you learned to use your steps at last? Yeah, clever boy, aren't you? Yeah, this has got good leverage. It's an old tie iron. And I drilled two holes, put screws in, sewn them and filed them off. Put some resin on them, epoxy resin. It grips very well. Alright, Ginger. Let's have a look at your back. Yeah. Yeah, the mad dude trying to reach his back. There's a little bit of blood there now. Has he got a giant flea? I tried to spray him, but he hissed and ran off. Oh, no. The cats and the fleas. Sorry, they're not cat turds. They're two novelty catnip bananas. And a catnip cigar. And there's a stray cat comes and licks them. 
it looks like one has been sat on my old seat. Yeah, be be. Really congrats, aren't they? I normally give them a respray. I'll change the bolts, got some fresh bolts. Take that rubber off, spray that black. I've got some cheap satin enamel paint from that cheapo shop. It'll do, won't it? Don't need anything fancy like the ten pound hammerite or smooth right. Same with that one, spray that blue. I've got some blue paint from somewhere that it's almost a perfect match. It's cheap old stuff. I just checked and realised I've no spare bloody brake pads for the back I thought I had. I've got some from the front. So, I'll get you in here. What do I want? Air filter, pads, rear pads. Although I'm going to check them all. I might not actually need any, but... I don't know, is it wise just to change them anyway for the new biking season? I'll check them and see. <coughs> I'm steaming up so I'm not going to do anything with my helmet on. Uh, I'll show you the pads because I'm going to take the calipers off. It's only two bolts and jiggle it off. i just slide it off and just concern like I said with them lines it should be smooth and shiny shouldn't they <sighs> yeah it's an old bike 16 years old this year or even 18 if uh, the date under the seat is to be believed 2002 that's what I said about them reflectors there's a flat piece on most mug guards I think they designed to stick a reflector on Oh, sirens. Sounds like something's happened. Do you put beer cans or pop cans on your starter motor? No. You don't even need glue because that curve is exactly the right curve for the starter motor. Just cut a little notch out for the lead and it stays on. Right, belly pan off. What time? Half past four. Mm. Yeah, I left it a bit late and still got an hour of daylight left. Plus these lights. Should be plenty of time. Why do they coat roses in green wax when you buy them in them tubes? <laughs> uh, belly pans come off okay, full of guns though. Is it worth scraping it all out? I'll give it a clean with Mr Sheen. Although really I should get some hot water. Just dusting it like that will scratch it. Is it worth bothering on an old bike? I know I shouldn't get complacent about the bike in it. Should look after it. It is looking rather tired. Are oh, you helping Blackie? Yeah, 17 mil, the bolt come off alright, although lots of guns under there. And the filter's loosened alright, because you're not really meant to tighten it up, are you? That tight, just hand tight. And then a quarter turn with something. It's come off easy. Right, where's the nut? Goo gunk. Where's the nut there? This is an old dish from the pound shop. It's always black in it, but the viscosity is never too bad, it doesn't really go thin. There's a, no, there's a washer on there. Yes, oh no, oh yes, there it is. She said, have you got a new crush washer? I said, no, I just use the same one. Oh, I meant to replace it with a crush washer. I said, well, I never had any leaks. They do say, 
Uh, start your engine for two seconds just to get any resid residual oil in my ass. What difference will it make if it's just a little bit in? It's bits of metal you should be concerned about. That's something I thought again. A magnetic can get magnetic sump bolts, can you? That attract all the bits off all the cogs. Because bits of metal flake off over the years. But and only six ninety five. I've seen them on eBay. Yeah, I should have got one, shouldn't I? But like I said, does it matter? It's like one of the minor details, and it? it's like them people that drill holes everywhere, thinking they're saving weight. Well, maybe they are, but what bloody difference? There's a few holes. Me, oh, we've drilled this to make it lighter. Oh, we've drilled that to make it lighter for racing. If a bike weighs 500 pounds or more, why bother? And like I said, I think they're magnetic things, they're just a minor detail. Probably just be a couple of little tiny slivers on if I did get one. Unless I'm talking cobblers. Hey Bobby, dirty piddly. Little sod. My house stinks, that middle room, yeah, been new to but he still piddles. He's not happy that he shares a house with two other cats. <laughs> yeah, patting Bobby, good boy, good boy. Deserves patting, doesn't he? On that piddle, it'll dirty you out. Good boy, you pat him. You'll probably piddle again because you patted him. Dirty, isn't he, Blackie? Dirty Bobby. Peed all over on some LPs on an RFI unit, on my RFI, so I put a towel up. Peas on the towel. And he cats. Oh, it's nice and oily to begin with. Packing grease on it. I saw the oil because that girl in the shop. Yule said, what kind of oil? I saw a mate's donated some oil because he sold his bike. He donated his oil to me. Not fully synthetic, is it? I said, I'm not sure, it's all in foreign. <coughs> Techno synthese, Mortal 40, 4 stroke. 1040 MA2 4 litres 4 litres So don't get fully synthetic unless you intend racing What bike is it? Mm, semi synthetic So she was saying semi synthetic or normal mineral oil Mineral oil is ok but don't use fully synthetic <sighs> Well I'm using this so thank you once again, Tony. I forgot why he said he sold his FJ. I think he's just fed up of our crap weather. Plus work commitments means his riding was restricted. He fell off it because it weighs a bloody ton. When you were manoeuvring it. Big heavy bikes, aren't you? I sat on the cat hoil, he's weighed a bloody ton. And all this saying, oh, once we're underway, you can't feel the weight, but if you're not underway and you're trying to manoeuvre it, I think that's how Derek came off. Trying to do a U-turn on a big heavy bike, you're better doing, you know, if you want to go from there to there, don't do that, because the weight could pull you over. I just do a back scuttle, and that, like a Y-shape, back scuttle slowly. Like a you know, half turn or a quarter turn, do a full U turn, and there's a chance of overbalancing, isn't there? You know what I mean? On full lock. Big heavy back on a full lock like that, trying to do a little scuttle. It's going to go over if you're not careful. So, like I said, I do a quarter turn, back scuttle. Remember that, do a back scuttle. That's to be Brown says. Right, old filter. Should have stopped dribbling by now. Yep, just a little bit left. Move it up a bit. Right, 
really I should have set a date when I last did this I'm just guessing it's roughly every spring but if I did a video of it last year I should have got some clothes and some kitchen roll wasting a good dust today is that a high floor? yeah same make the air filter I've seen is the same as well I thought they were £12, it's a Chinese non-brandy one that were £12 the high floor filter was 17 50 with three posts so it's 15 isn't it the posts will be about 2 50 comes in a box and that big the air filter like I said I was going to clean and wash the old one but why bother just renew it right Uh, I was going to go and have a cup of tea <laughs> while it drained fully but uh, I'm just worried about the lights I've got a load of little o-rings inside in a pack that looks fine <coughs> yeah right, baby Dirty Bobby. Um, that contaminated as well. That's been hung up for a year under the no crumbs of brick dust in it. So no. What are you doing? Out of some biscuits, loads of biscuits inside, or is he piddling? It's in their instinct, isn't it? Despite being new to the, the vets five or six years ago, costing £55, he still piddles. Thick as pig shit, little rat. Right, not back in. Like I said, you meant to change the washer, aren't you? But Fine. Where about it? That's still dribbling now and stabbed little bits. Not good for you, is it old engine oil? Should have had um, gloves on like can't back away. New filter, new filter. Has it already got grease on? Yeah, it says you always put a bit of oil on, but there's plenty already there. Steaming up again. Just a little bit more. Oops. Oh, there we are. I think. It's not engaging in there. Oh, God bless Jimmy. It'll be right. I'll fiddle with it in a minute. I can't see with this. I'm steaming up like crazy. I'll just tighten this up. Tops off. Uh, 
that's a full one. This is the other full one. Watch carefully in case anything comes out. Sure, it's all right. It's been sealed up. Should have checked the manual, I forgot exactly how much goes in, but I'll be using a sight glass, then run it so the little oil filter gets full up and then slight top up again. And I'm putting about two thirds up halfway between full and empty. Two thirds up halfway between, what am I talking about? You know what I mean, don't you? Two thirds up the sight glass. Philip Rules once said, You put too much oil in. I said, I know, I've topped it up with that Lucas stuff oil stabiliser. Oh, you shouldn't use that. Mm. I said, I know, but it's the temporary thing before the oil changes to thicken it up a bit. So, is this fully synthetic? Anybody know? Mortal techno synthesis or synthes. And does it matter? Let's tell what the local car shop said in the Pakistani car accessories shop. Oh, use any oil. Buy my car oil, very cheap. I said, well, bike stuff. You're talking about forty pound. Oh, it's a rip off. Oil is oil. Ten forty is ten forty. So I went to Dixon just with years ago and asked him, "Yeah, if you want to burn your clutch out, use car oil." He said, "It's different, isn't it? Because cars have got uh, dry sumps." So there's a slippier oil, use it in a bag, it'll burn your clutch out. Alright baby. So look at that side glass. A long way off yet. What's what I mean about engine? Well that's guns, but I mean it's just flaking off here and there. Whereas that one at Rivington were mint. Plus that's been painted because it must have got scraped. When I bought it, he said, yeah, the previous two owners were elderly and they fell over. Bikes fell over and it's got a couple of dings. I said, oh, you can see that on eBay. That's why everyone's worried about buying stuff off eBay. Like I said, there's a black CB1300 on eBay in East Sussex. 13,000 mile be almost mint but all the clocks look grimy and there's a rubber tube here but why did you put a rubber tube there? Is it to cushion the fairing? I mean I use that towel to cushion it and stop movement I was going to say what's that pipe for but getting another bike's just a dream I'm not going to get into depth I'll have to run this until it falls apart and then there's that blue one of the Staffordshire, uh, Staffordshire motorcycles. That's done 26,000 miles, so twice a mileage, but it's the same price. That one in Sussex is three and a half, and the one at uh, the dealers, the blue one, is roughly the same. And when I had my last 1300, I struggled getting in here. Simply because of the huge silences which were out here. And uh, I'm worried about some scrape in the doorway. But these ones I've seen on eBay, the 1300s of old, you know, they've both got four into ones. Little tiny stubby pipe here. So there shouldn't be any trouble. Plus I've made an 18 inch more depth by demolishing my grandmother's 
of the Raw's Garden. And I should have at least half of this one for them silly bloody bins. That would have helped, wouldn't it? Because I could have got it in, closed the door, and backed up there, and done it that way. But then there's a problem of getting it diagonal to go into this space. No, I'll stick with this. You shouldn't be on there, Blackie, should you? We want to show it close. So I'll stay with this, sorry. I was watching Adam from Bolton on his final ride of his uh V strong of Aces, I forgot, sorry. And he sold it to a chap in Kent for three and a half. That's done ten thousand mile. I need to check this out. What am I doing here? Have a smell. Mm. <coughs> Coming up. On a Friday from Kent to Bay. Oh, it's nowhere near. Yeah, when I saw my 1300, I took it back to the shop where I got it fast line in Preston. They did a we sell your bike for you service, but they kept £300. They said, we have to warranty it, but you've got the peace of mind that thieves aren't going to come round. They said, people have had thieves round. Oh yeah, I'll come back tomorrow with cash, mate. Yeah, I'll have it, definitely. And they've come round in the middle of the night with bolt cutters and had it away. I know that's a very rare occurrence, but... You know, imagine strangers coming to your house and checking everything out. These days especially. I'm steaming up again. I'll continue this <laughs> I'll mix off there, Blackie. <sighs> yeah, it is fiberglass, isn't it? I remember because I added some fiberglass there years ago to uh, strengthen the crack. So, hmm, I'm thinking of putting a couple of strips there sometime, but everything is alright scratch there. Looks like a fresh scratch. I think I just did that then. Oh no, that's on that side, isn't it? It was this side that we caught. A very narrow gap between the gear lever. Anyway, like I said, it's heavy because of all this accumulated gun, so I've got an old scraper out of the drawer. I'll soon get this off, won't it? Mmm, old chain grease. From the past 12 months of riding. Where I cut it down. When I got that centre stand, which that Harley kindly gave me, I couldn't fit it without cutting a chunk off here. That comes to a point, it's like a stylish little point with the single pipe coming up. So I had to cut it off to fit the centre stand. And as you can see, that centre stand is very useful. I used to have to struggle with that uh, paddock stand thing. I got that from Fastline in Press and I bought it. <laughs> the two bottom bits of triangular parts come off, so I put them in my bag, but the U-shape piled up right back in my neck and up my sleeve, so I'm riding home like that. For the moment, it's surplus to requirements, although it's only about £40, aren't they? I'm thinking of giving it away to someone that needs one. But if my next bike doesn't have a centre stand, if I ever do get another bike, if this finally gives up the ghost, then uh, I might need the paddock stand again. Mm. It's only lighter. Yeah, it is. 
It's just solid grease and grime and metal stones. Red over winter. I'll reconnect that in Easter time, I think. I'm going to keep it there this time and have uh, the cable running through that little overflow spout, can you see? And fit some hooks along here. It'll be covered up with flowers. Although, when I'm relaxing in my deck chair there with a bottle of beer, I won't be able to watch the water come out. Unless I make another one. What's I going to do? Oh yeah, throw this away. And I'll throw the old scraper away. I think I will. Got another couple of them. And I'll wipe this down with hot soapy water. Just to get any obvious gunk off. I'll use this dusty. There's some uh, thermal long johns I got. Meant to be double XL and I washed them and then they shrunk like crazy so they fire too little so I'm using it as a duster now. Spray something on just to agitate the guns. No, just hot soapy water will do, I think. Don't know why I put that on, that was a spare one. When I got another pair of them, one went here, and that was a spare one. <sighs> I did have one on here, it just looked a bit silly, plus it accumulated guns and the sticky stuff is still on. I should get that off ASAP. Yeah, if I put something, some hot water on that, that'll loosen the old foam. I should I leave it all till my spring clean when I do these? Around about Easter time. <coughs> I've had enough of this now. Yes, yeah, so I'll just clean this, put it back on, put the kettle on. Have a nice cup of tea. Where are we here again, Fatty? <laughs> yeah, goodbye, aren't you? You little blicky. <laughs> right, we're going to put a pan of water on to boil. And while it is boiling or warming up, I shall put this old oil in the empty oil container, probably. Won't quite fit, let's see. Oh, I'll use. That's why I'm using this, it's broken. I'll use a smooth pouring edge. Might all fit, we'll see. I still haven't checked my manual. Always check your manual just to get an idea of how many litres you need to put in.
das fühlt sich nicht. Surprisingly. Let's have a look at that uh, side glass. Only run the engine for two minutes. <coughs> Yeah, that's gone down a lot. <sighs> that means let's put a little bit more in. <clears throat> I think I'll go and check the manual. Well, the water's half boiled, and so am I. <laughs> no, I was thinking, uh, should uh, be two days off, should I get a bottle of something? I'd have a bit of a sniffle, I still have it from, I won't say Christmas, but every winter I seem to get a permanent sniffle. Maybe I have got Corona. And as it's my birthday on Saturday, and I'm a bit out of practice with my boozing. <laughs> Maybe I should have had a practice session and then get a taxi in tomorrow. But yeah, it said tonight a forecast bloody possible frost. Oh, that's coming off nicely, isn't it? Lots of fairy liquid in. For your hands that do dishes, will feel soft as your face with mild green fairy liquid. Dee, 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 dee. Only thing that'll be blemishing it will be them scrapes from moving some barn silly bloody speed ups could hear it go <whistles> right underneath there's only about four or five inch clearance and them silly bloody umps are enormous aren't they? Totally pointless. Sorry, I don't cook food in these pans. <laughs> I've got an immersion heater because I don't have central heating. I've no boiler for hot water. So that's what I do if I want hot water for washing up. I just boil two enormous pans and it also warms the kitchen as well. So yes, I'll be cleaning this pan thoroughly, don't worry. Yeah, I would like to have gone away for my birthday, but I thought, why bother? London, Edinburgh, Liverpool, Blackpool. I might just stop in and not bother. Why bother just glugging beer? Let's just show you the front bit, the front scoop. It's good and that, isn't it? May I buy skid marks? Not a colour max one, it's just a blue fiberglass belly pan. But I cracked it by hitting a really steep bloody speed ump. And it just went bing at that weak spot there. So all I did was reinforce it with a few layers of fiberglass and then colour it in with some blue paints. Can't see it down there. Somebody's gone on the lens, I hope not. Stubborn one. How's that got scraped there? Eh? When I fell off. I fell off outside my house on one cold ride. And left it in third gear like a bloody twerp and stalled it. See, because the gear lever is there, it marks it. I could do with bending that gear lever out, but. Uh, I have to get a torch on to soften the metal. I'm going to snap if I try and force it with a, 
a long lever, possibly. Not worth bothering with, is it? Is that a crack? Scratch. That'll do. Yeah, that's my bodge repair. <laughs> Not an invisible repair, exactly. Right, I shall refit that. I should really go for a little tootle around to get the oil going, but <laughs> it's too late, isn't it? Half past five. So I might call it a do at that. Thank you for watching. And I'll sort of update you on my teeth. And weird. Not necessary. So I have to wait for my next infection now. I have to leave you with a look at these. They're nice, aren't they? That's the nicest one, that Triumph Thunderbird. All for me, bear last summer. And a couple of them are from them uh, events I go to, the steam events and the classic bike and car shows. Right, well thanks for watching. Bye for now. <coughs> just just remembered something I'd forgot I said I was gonna do when the weather warmed up. Although I should have got some more masking say. Will there be enough? Uh, someone else has got a blue horn and I said to them, do you want me to make you some of these infills which I did last year? And that blue plastic is from the lid of a pound shop lunchbox. But with them in situ, not sure how easy it's going to be. I'll have to draw around my existing one with this soft 3B pencil. You think someone would make them, wouldn't you? Rather than me using a lunchbox lid. Uh, I'll wipe it down. Just in case it's greasy. Yeah, they just look nice instead of a hollow. Well, I think they look nice. I'm steaming up. I've done a video of it before, I think. So I'll just show you the basics. Mr. Uh, Black Van and Robin. Rub around the outline. And your thumb. Steaming up. that. Getting bloody plastic lenses, that's what they do, they steam up worse than glass. Yeah, push it in so you can see a clear outline. And draw around it. Oops. Or rather draw into the groove. Carefully, oops, gone through. You can always, because uh, the plastic lid's only very soft, you can fine tune the details later. Alright, I can. Oops. So, okay, I can see the outline very clearly. Yeah, I'm disappointed with the image works because I said to them, can you make me a gel pad if I send you the templates? Templates, can you make me a gel pad? And they said, yes. And they said, well, send the templates and we'll do you a, a rough plastic thing to see if it fits and then, okay, it, send it back. And I'm still waiting yet. I'm just dithering ninnies. Apparently they're so busy. 
I think they just put it on the junk pile and then forgot about it so sudden these will do not only get closely inspected a bit of a wavy bit there, that's a bit tricky right so peel it off carefully Stick that to the lungs, lung spots lid. I wasn't prepared for doing all this. I could have done a neater job. In fact, I might leave it and do a proper job and get another roll of masking tape. Going dark, isn't it? What time is it? Ten to six. And Oh, that's my shake and rake, pretty flowers, green garden, ready for spring. And these are the lunch boxes. Steaming up again. Yeah, that blue is a nice match. And the shapes just fit, there's a little moulding blob there, so I'll avoid that. I forgot how I did it last time found the best space there I think and it's so soft just cut round it with sharp scissors so I'll get on with that Mr Black Van and Robin uh, I'll have to uh, get your address have to, you'll have to email me but let me know if you still want to pay Because it is a bit of a faff cutting it out. Okay, that's all for now. That's enough waffling. Bye for now.